for fast and reliable coins, make sure you check out fastfutcoins.com and use discount code SSG for 5% off all of your orders. Hello guys and welcome to another Team of the Season player review. Today we've got Team of the Season 90 overall Luka Modric. He is an absolute monster as you can see on the screen now. I've played 13 games scoring 2 goals and he's got no assist as well. Pretty damn bad really to start off. I bought him for 199,000 coins but you can actually pick him up for around 205,000 coins. And he is going up in price as well. I actually sold my Luka Modric for 215,000 coins uh, the other day. And he's got high attacking work rate with a medium defensive work rate with 4 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. And he's a right footed player. Now obviously, as you can see, he can play centre mid, cam, CDM. He's 27 years old, 5 foot 9. And obviously he is Croatian. He is a very, very decent player. And out of the three positions, I did try him in every position. In whilst he was playing as a cam, he scored two goals. And whilst he was playing as a centre defensive mid, I found that he was a better player. I, I don't know what it was. But before we go into that, into some more detail, here's some stats: physical attribute, 84 acceleration, 99 agility, sorry, 99 balance, 95 reactions, 78 sprint speed, 73 strength, 79 jumping. A few really good stats. Obviously, the two 99s. Um, we go into mental stats, 78 aggression, 80 positioning, as well as 80 interceptions and 91 vision, which is pretty damn epic. He's got some good, decent stats, sort of a well-rounded central midfielder. Uh, skill attributes, 96 ball control, 82 crossing, 92 curve, 90 dribbling, 87 three free kick accuracy, 95 long passing, 93 long shots, 97 short passing, 81 shot power and 84 volleys. And there we go, that's his in-game stats. Now, as I was saying, uh, he's got a mixture um, of abilities. Now, I found Luka Modric, to be honest with you guys, fairly disappointing. Now, I'm going to talk about the good points first. Now, first off, for a 5'9 player, he reaches a lot of headers. He'll definitely win the aerial battles. His positioning is really good, and he seems to be in the right place at the right time when it comes to defending. Uh, not so much attacking. Um, then we go on to passing. His passing ability is absolutely superb. He can pass the ball all over the pitch, long pass, short pass, you name it. He can, you know, inch perfect 90% of the time. That's pretty much, you know, the best things about him. He's got a bit of pace behind him as well, a, lo a good bit of acceleration, and that helps him. He's got a bit of strength to add to that. So he can definitely run with the ball, and his dribbling is pretty damn good as well at 90 so he can definitely dribble the ball. Now, moving on to his disappointment stats. Now, I scored two goals and got zero assists with him. And I did play about four or five games as a central attacking midfielder, four or five games as a CDM, and two or three games as a central midfielder. Now, he doesn't seem to be getting into the things, uh, into my style of play. I don't know what it was. Defensively, he was brilliant. Now, if you look at... Tackling attributes, he's got 59 sliding, tackle, uh, sliding tackle and 77 standing tackle, 65 marking. So, I don't understand. He's, to me, his best position is a central defensive midfield role. Attacking-wise, he is quite average, to be honest. His shooting I found really bad. I couldn't seem to get many uh, shots away that were really good. I mean, I've played with a lot of long shot takers, and Luka Modric doesn't seem to be one. And as you're going to see here, a lot of shots were good, but they just, for some reason, didn't have the power. They didn't have the power to put that into the top corner before the keeper could move. It just didn't seem to work out. And also, when it comes to that, you know, his attacking position, I don't know what goes, what's going on with that. He's got a high attacking work rate, and he didn't seem to be in the right place. Only one or two times out of about 13 matches he was there in the right place. Now as you can see this is the last game clip we have and it is the only goal I'm going to be able to show you because I played one game off camera and typically I scored. Uh, but you know that's about it really so is he worth 205k? I definitely do not think so. I think he's worth about 100,000 coins and that would be pushing it really. He's a good player but I don't personally think he's worth the coinage and his card, his stats doesn't do him justice. Now this is probably one of the, the highest rated bad reviews I've given, you know, I wouldn't say he's good, and I probably 
wouldn't bother recommend trying them out unless you've really got the coins to splash. So that's the end of this team of the season review. I hope you have enjoyed it and found it insightful. Until next time, guys, take care.